Hello and welcome to the Open Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to configure a simple wireless line network using the application configuration model and profile configuration model. In this tutorial, I use the wireless line workstation models. And I place a wireless line station uh, which is acting as a server in this case. I would like to configure these two stations to support different profiles. Any pro profiles would have different applications configured in, in them. And using the profiles, these these stations can then use those applications to communicate in, in this network. So I'll right click on this station to take me to the attributes. I'll select applications, then come to application supported profiles. <clears throat> I'll select rows, rows, select one, it will take me to the first row and the first option that I have inside row zero is profile name. Now by default open it provides these profiles, you can select any one of these profiles. For this, in this case I'll select multimedia user as a profile for mobile node zero. Here you can see a warning message because we do not have uh, these two models in our subnet previously so at the moment we would just ignore this warning message or select ok now this station has a multimedia user profile but what is a multimedia user profile I'll click on the profile configuration model take me to profile configuration here you would see the default profiles and this is the profile that we assigned to mobile node zero here you would see the profile name then the applications which are configured are grouped together inside this profile here it has two applications one is voice over ip call and the other is video conferencing the other option that we have here is the operation mode they are set to be simultaneous you have different other options you can set it to serial random and serial ordered in serial random the any one of these applications would run randomly at one time in serial order they would run in a sequential manner but one after the other one and simultaneous would make them run at the same time this is the start time of this profile and it is set to uniform be, uh, between 100 and 110 so it would randomly start somewhere between 100 seconds and 110 seconds and duration is set to be till the end of simulation you can specify the time the repeatability of this profile is set to be once at the start time now these are the if you select zero um, row zero for the application you would see the application name you can select from a number of applications and you can specify a or select a custom application I'll show you how to select a custom application and configure it and these are the start time offset and the duration the start time offset would be time after which you would start the application and this time uh, this offset is set to be after the time your profile is started then you have got similar options of repeatability how, how often do you or how frequent you want this application to run during the pro during the the time period this profile is set for now this is about the custom profile and custom applications the next step is to show you how to configure your own applications I'll go to application configuration menu application definitions so by default I've got 16 rows and 16 different applications I want to declare one of my custom application I'll make the rows to be equal to 17 I'll have another row here I put the application name as my custom custom application um, in the description part I would like my application to be an FTP application and I'll select heavy load in this case and if you want to see what is the heavy load or the way it is configured you can always come here and change one of these options you can 
change the file size you can change the inter request time then you can specify the type of service and rsvp parameters and so on we may come to these parameters specifically if we need to change them later on in other tutorials but in here i would just like to show how to configure applications similarly you can if you want you can change your custom application to behave one of oh, like one of these applications so my custom application has been set to be an ftp application with a heavy load configuration now the next step is to include this application in one of my profiles i wouldn't like to change the default profiles which are defined in opnet what i'll do is define one of my own profiles so i'll increase the number of rows to be six i'll define my own custom profile a custom profile then i'll select the number of applications that i want i can select as many as i want in this case my first application is my own application or my custom application well i need to change the spelling is come to application it should be custom anyways the start time is set to uh, between 5 and 10 this is the offset time after the profile would start the profile start time is set here as uniform i can change it to whatever i want and the duration is set to end of profile repeatability is unlimited now my first application in this profile has been set to my own then i'll select any one of these applications suppose i go for voice or be called gsm quality and these are the rest of the application configuration parameters inside this profile i've select all of it now i've got one of my own profiles which is a custom profile and the multimedia multimedia user profile i click ok now i would like the mobile node one to have a profile which i just defined so i'll come to the edit attributes menu go to applications then application supported profiles select row one i would like to have only one profile which is my custom profile and i've assigned it to mobile node one so just to summarize mobile node zero is assigned a multimedia profile which has got two applications and they are the this is one of the default profiles this guy has a custom profile and it has one of my custom application and the other application is a voice or ip call now the other step is to configure this server to support these application or these services so i'll come to application supported services i i have different options here i can select all by selecting all this server would then support all the services required for the applications which are part of the profiles or i can go to edit menu and select as many applications that i want these are some of the applications which i can then select if i want to specifically select certain applications in this case i just set it to all now the applications configured or the profile is assigned now we can select some statistics i can just randomly select some statistics like the load and delay by the wireless lane module of mobile node zero after selecting this statistics i can run the simulation in set to 10 minutes i'll run the simulation while running the simulation i'll just pause the video all right guys the simulation is completed we can go and see the results this is the delay experienced by the wireless and mac and the load which has been submitted by the higher layers to the Mac layer in this case. So, just to summarize once again, you can assign profiles. Inside each of the profiles, you can configure or group applications. And once you assign the profile, then the mobile stations would then use those applications according to the configuration of the profile and the applications. So, I think this is all for this tutorial. 
and I'll see you in next tutorials. Thanks for watching.